That's too smug right there. Come on, I got, I got I room here for you. <laughs> I won. I'll make some room. Right. You won. Um, this is the beginning yeah. of the uh, 3D, I guess you could say the three, the three-dimensional Mario block. And so we have some prizes that we want to show off. Uh, hang on a second. Butters, can we get a hand of applause for Worcester for winning the fight? All right, round of applause for Worcester for winning the fight. some prizes coming up for this Mario block and starting with Super Mario 3D Land we have this Lakitu Furler. That is amazing. Yeah, yeah this is, is so awesome. Uh, are the mics live right now? Or are they, uh, yeah, the mics are live. Okay. Um, I mean, this is the <laughs> camera being used right now. Uh, I'm going to change it. Yep. So, I, can, uh, I can just put well, this right here. It's probably better. Okay, this is a Kitu Perler. Made by our own Mecha Richter. Mecha is fly. Yes, indeed. And we have this, uh, these two plushies. One, Wario. <laughs> one is Bowser. It's a me, Wario. Wah, wah, wah. Wah. <laughs> and this uh, I'm gonna extremely wait. big Bowser <laughs> plushie. It's a, mm. a very nice uh, Super Mario 64 looking Bowser. But um, I believe all of these are a $5 buy in? Um, no, they are actually not. Oh. oh. The, uh, the plushies are both a $10 buy in, and this Lakitu Perler is a $15 buy in. Yep, starting with this game, and it ends at the end of Super Mario 64. The 16 tough star one, did that donation actually does happen, or the 120 star one? The 120 star one. Okay. The entire Mario block. <coughs> yeah, the game's taking a while now. I know, I know. I'm going to have to do this. Hey! And it's frozen now. Thank you, Mitchell Unawine, to the $30 donation. Put this to SIGS, 16 star run. How has this not been made yet? I can't wait for it. Kriegasm. Some Perler, some stuff, the Dazzle maybe? Check the Dazzle's connection. That's the one that was really Dazzle. It's alright, Pikachu can handle it. He's a tough squirrel rat. Electric rat? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I'm really disappointed now. My game was meant to crash and make the game un impossible to finish, but it didn't crash. The credits are rolling? The credits are rolling. Nice. I've never oh seen gosh. this happen before. Wow. That is awesome. No, thanks. For <laughs> you not have an officially... Wait, did you have to fight? No, you don't fight. Else, right? Can you actually continue then? Can you actually go on to... Uh... I might be able to, but map just still won't work anymore. So, well, I'm pretty sure it won't. Yeah. Um. Uh -oh. Beating bread on that same save file would be pretty funny. Oh, you might want to get a uh, a badge first so that it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Thank you, Rafael Hernandez, for the $15 donation. Maxi Man is still the best, 2013. Also, Hyperbeam. Thank you, Aileen Johnson, for the $25 donation. I'm still sweating from the ending of that gold run. Thank you, Aaron Brown, for the $5 donation. I thought No Challenge Twitch could take me from watching The Brett. Thanks for the run, guys. Put this amount to whatever the announcer wants. Yeah, thanks. I'll just put it towards uh, Mario 16 Star again. And shout to The Brett. Thank you, Timothy Buckland, for your $10 donation. Put this towards 16 Star. Worcester's Pokemon Gold was awesome. Thank you, Christian, for the $50 donation. Hey there, great thing you're doing. I've been watching this non-stop the past days and wanted to donate more, but I just got paid. We'll donate more as the day goes by. Put this towards the Glemic 16 star run. <laughs> Thank you, Mason Labont, for the $20 donation. Oh. Cheers to you guys. Great guys, great games, great cause. Put this wherever Mr. K sees fit. The game just And thank you, Samson Drew, for the $5 donation. Great runs from great players. Please put this towards SIG's 16-star run. Thank you, Ed Nolan, for the $25 donation. Put this towards SIG's 16-star. Thank you, Base Glemic. Robert Gladys Ewicks for the $10 donation. I know it's not much, but love what you guys do for not only the health of the world, but video games as well. Put this towards something Final Fantasy related. Again, in order to get in on Final Fantasy prizes, you need to actually donate during the Final Fantasy block. They'll, they'll, everyone can be entered for the Gunblade so long as they donate, no matter what point. So. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesse Saunter, $5 donation. The marathon has been awesome. It's nice to see that 3DS capture card in action. Well, we will see that 3DS capture card in action very, very shortly. Hopefully they can see it right now. Yeah, one thing to point out, uh, hopefully the webcam can make it clear, but uh, Greenleaf will be playing on an actual 3DS and not an emulator. Mm -hmm. So the uh, 3DS has actually been modded to output a video signal so we can capture it and rebroadcast it for the stream. Thank you. 
Touchscreen Mario moves slightly faster than using the stick to advance along the map. I am not kidding, you can save frames. Something will be happening. Oh, okay. Wow, this is a marathon route, so we have to go to the next level. This is the one one of the two warp zones in this game. So most of the special world is just the same level over again, but just a bit harder. It's kind of like the dark world stages in Super Mario. Yeah, but there's a few that are purely original. Oh, yeah. Touch the last part of the black hole. It's faster, obviously. Now, boys, it takes forever for Mario to go from the top right down to the bottom so you can touch the very top of the black hole. And here comes a tricky trick in World 2 2. I'll do this once, so I mess it up, I'll do the castle just quickly. Yeah, this game does have some tough tricks. If you think it's easy, that's because you're not speedrunning it. You're just playing casual. So here it comes. Hope you're watching this Cosmic Speed 12. Yes, Cosmic Speed 12 is another speed one that moves I with the fair means on this game. Come on. Ah, oh. oh, I messed that up because I did not get a long jump boost. I got the walking variant walk long yeah. jump. So the speed was god awful. So yeah, that's the important side of the thing. So yeah, this is a scrub way. Safety, safety. Oh, wow, didn't get a long Thanks I can get my power back on here. Yeah, of course it was a good time there, but yeah, that's marathon for you. You'll get it once. Thank you. 
So here comes Mystery Fox. The first one is always the same. It's your tutorial and what you do to these ages. Very simple one, to be honest. Let's sign that up. That's, I think that's roughly 25 regular ones and 15 golden ones. And golden ones are very rare. I'll explain more about the golden ones in a minute. Now this stage is not too bad. Yes, this is like 8 bit sprites from the good old Super Mario Brothers. I'm going to do a little long jump exploit. Hold 45 degrees angle from that direction, and your speed increases infinitely. <laughs> oh, there's a shadow, there's a shadow, there it is. Oh, I didn't get that great angle there. I think I missed this one. Yeah, I missed this one. Yeah, there's a little speed trick there, you can actually get that third medal. I'm not sure I missed that one up. <laughs> Two four. Well, expect some platforms you may recognise from Super Mario Galaxy Two. Let me remind you, this game is done by the Galaxy team, who was responsible on the Wii games. The biggest difference this time: these platforms switches based on your jumps and not on your spin attacks from the galaxy. Yes, this bit here tells you to put on 3D, but I don't have to because I know this bit off by heart. If I turn 3D on, it slides to your right or left on the actual Twitch window. Oh crap, I that, that messed that bit up pretty bad there. Okay, I'm right. But yeah, and what's meant to do is stand on top of that brown block and then do a 45 degree long jump to that direction. I will guarantee you to land on top of that flying block and then just do a regular jump to get that third medal. So, here's another thing I've got to mention why there's never going to be a segmented run of this game. Not only because it auto saves, but also stages like these. Oh, the auto scrollers. Oh, signal's gone. Uh oh. Is it capturing? Yeah, it's still capturing. Okay. I'm sure it is. Yes, you got that trick. Uh, All right. Tom right next to me, he's been playing this game recently. Yes sir, I can watch this round without getting spoiled. Pretty much. Uh, yeah. It's interesting with this, the auto scrolls, because you can make it to the end of the level without uh, letting have the scroll first. Mm. Oh yeah, this is Boom Boom. Oh. Unfortunately, there isn't many bosses in this game. Just Boom Booms and the female variant for those Boomerangs. Oh, there's another Okay, so that went alright to be honest. Didn't die on the stage. So 
So how many viewers are watching this run? Uh, last I checked, about 32,000. Oh boy. <laughs> if you really love DS games and 3DS games, feel free to follow my channel. I'll be streaming a lot more of these kind of games. You won't regret it. More shaking. I love the original story in this game. Pete's being kidnapped by Bowser by the rest of <laughs> So original. I know, it's should win an Oscar. Well, 3 1. Gyro. Okay, I got that. So, here, this is how the speed one we play about to use on this stage to get all three. Got the first two ready, now I've got the propeller hat and pretty much skip most of this stage. The propeller hat also acts like a shield, so if you take damage, you won't lose the main suit, the Tanuki suit I'm using right now, but you just lose the propeller helmet block. Oh, the 3 2 is pretty nice. It's on the water stage. Yeah, swimming. Is there a way to read donations during the swimming? Or is yeah, a... you are welcome to read some donations right now. Yeah, right. Thank you, Joaquin Haugen, for the $50 donation. Thanks for a great marathon so far. Shout out to all the runners. You're doing a great job. Put my donation to a SIG 16 Star One. Run. Thank you, Anonymous, for the $20 donation. Sadly, I missed a snake in your run because I was asleep and thus still in a dream. What a thrill it will be to watch the archive. Yeah, just a reminder, everything in this marathon will be archived. Thank you, Christopher Larson, for the $10 donation. $10 for at least one person in the room to pester Siglemic throughout the duration of his run. About it being THE run. Also, we'll donate another $10 if Sig gets 12.6 on the slide. Or maybe I just will anyway. Yeah, I, I don't really see that. Uh, the 12.6 will definitely happen. The run thing, nah. Thank you, Johnny. For now, the $5 donation. Just a show. Bro for life. Get wrecked, cancer. Thank you, Sean Murphy, for the $20 donation. Congratulations wow. to everybody Go ahead. involved for an amazing AGDQ. I cannot believe how much money has been raised for this cause. It's acts of kindness and generosity like this that restore my faith in humanity. Put this towards SIG 16 star, of course. Thank you, Mr. Holmead, for the $20 donation. Awesome runs for a great cause. Good luck to the main runners. Please put this money towards 16 star run in Super Mario 64. Thank you, Marshall Banana, for the $10 donation. Single Mike 16 star. No. Really useless, to be honest. Just stuff. Stats. Yes, yeah, got that bounce, that's very important. Star time. <laughs> There's not much, there isn't much to say because this is a Mario game for starters. We all know what Mario gameplay is, so don't expect any Whoa, Super Mario Galaxy twists and turns. Yeah, 10 seconds. Three times, that's pretty. Oh, binoculars. Oh, there you are, Toad. He approaches a star medal. Oh, I got it. Now this stage also has another tricky trick, which I also find a bit dumb sometimes. So again, if I mess it up first time, I'll do the scrub method right afterwards. Oh wow, 
I didn't get a long jump. Silly game. Okay. Yeah, it's got the long jump. That's what counts there. But here comes the important trick coming right up. Oh, you silly fuzzy. Alright. Here it comes. Oh, I didn't get it this oh. time. But thankfully, I've got a route that if I did miss that one, I can pick one extra star model later on in this uh, in this game. World 5-5. Five five. But yeah, the whole point is you actually you need to lower your height, descend a little bit so that your tailspin can actually contact the star model. It's a tricky trick. Thankfully, this stage is not too bad. As long as I don't get trolled mouth and likewise, but yes. This stage is not an auto scroller. One of the very few based stages to not be an auto scroller. That was close. There's no way I can get away with that without taking damage. Okay, I'm happy about this stage. Yeah, this one is kind of annoying because these conveyor belts, treadmills. But yeah, the Tailspin is by far the best attack in the game. It's one of the early attacks that actually damages the opponent. There is fireballs, but you need like millions of hits to work to count as a proper hit. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't do sub, you can't do one cycle bosses on this game. You entirely need to bring that bit, that element back and speed running. Oh wow, well, no, don't jump there, but that doesn't matter. I didn't die. So yeah, that's a good that's a good world overall. Even though I did miss that coin the star medal on world 3-4. World 4 is very short. Thank you, Charles Forster, for the $40 donation. This goes out to Sig. A couple years ago he helped a girl set up a fire emblem stream. That girl turned out to be the love of my life, and it was if it wasn't for that stream, I never would have found her. We want to say thank you, Sig, and good luck. Thank you, Tanner McMillan, for the $15 donation. Thanks, Worcester, for the Pokemon code abuse, and shout-outs to the one and only Sonic. Thanks, everyone, for the great week. Put this towards Super Mario 64, 16-star run. Thank you, Ludwig Edvinson, for the $10 donation. For Mr. Edvin, hi, guys. You're doing a great job for a great cause. I've lost two family members in cancer, and I hope few people will have to experience something similar. Put this donation towards the Glemic 16-stars. Okay, so this one's worse. This this is very misleading in 2D because you think you can jump onto all these platforms, but it's not as what you think it is. Ooh. Yeah, it's difficult. Okay. I personally think that the, the worst part about this game is the 3D effects. Because sometimes you can't see where you are in the game, so you just die because you, you mm. think you're on the on a platform. Yeah, you think that's the jump, but no. It's so annoying. Yeah, alright. Oh, nice. Got that bit right. Yeah. 
So I selected a certain me, and apparently lately another speedrunner named Bomber Clues, I apologize if I pronounce your name wrong, sent me a message when I was in during when I was doing this marathon, and he said apparently it's based on the me shirt color. I did give it a try, however it didn't work, but it might be different depending on the free jet systems. Now I chose a me that has a black shirt and it gave me a golden box loader like this. So in other words, the manipulation for any percent runs, it's based on the me you use to create the file. I'm guessing it's a black shirted me that is used to get this manipulation. Which still, we are still trying to research this odd manipulation. That's the best I, that's the best I know for, our, for now. Oh, that's close. Yeah, so I think it's really useful in this game. Okay, that's alright. Secret tunnel there. So, besides 3D Land, I do speedrun news from my brothers too. Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass as well, and probably a few other DS slash 3DS titles I might do in the future, depending on whether or not it's easy to speedrun. I tend to speedrun games roughly around half an hour to an hour long, 4 hours is just way over a line for me, however the longest game I do single segment run to so reset is Phantom Hourglass. Yes, yeah, so I got the bounce, nice, there's a little small trick there at the beginning. If you long jump and bounce on top of that plant, you're getting a good boost. <coughs> Alright. Oh, that's close. Oh, it's going to fall off there. Nice. Okay, that kind of works, but yeah. Yep, apparently that hammer and um, boomerang brother is meant to spawn from the sky way down. But for some reason, if his tail has been spanned there, he ends up coming from the actual lift. Don't ask me, it's Nintendo. <coughs> Like that sound effect. So yeah, I shouldn't try and showboat this bit because I do attempt to take damage by accident when I do do that. So I'm gonna be cautious, Carol here. Just wait for a bit. And now I gotta get that. No, yeah, it's all free. Is there any donations? You're welcome to free for them. Sorry, I thought it was Kasha's cow time. <laughs> Alright, thank you Joshua Robottom for the $10 donation. The organizers of AGDQ, the runners, and the people who donate should all give themselves a pat on the back. Great job. Thank you Stephen Woodward for the $75 donation. Great to see you guys doing this. I lost my mom to brain cancer four years ago when she was, 14, when she was 40. Put my donation towards the FF9 speedrun part 2. Fingers crossed for the box, chrono trigger, or the gun blade. Keep up the good work guys. Wizzy T. Thank you, Fabian Mall, for the $13.37 towards the uh, $13.37 donation towards the 16 star run. Okay, thanks, bye. Now it is. This thing is actually pretty interesting. It has a lot of references to this certain Nintendo franchise. Try and count them and figure what the franchise is. Closely. Oh, that's a big hint right there. <laughs> if you don't know that, then you haven't played video games. Oh, that's quite tough. Oh, I didn't, I was not going to make that. So, yeah, the fireball has no more use, so it doesn't matter if I take damage here.
Thank you, David. Everyone, for the five dollar donation. Greetings from the UK. Great work, guys. How are you recording 3DS footage, and how much did it cost? Oh, that's a good question. Well, there's a website called www.3dscapture.com. You can modify the 3DS original to support um, video output by USB. You might be able to see it right there if the camera sees it. Unfortunately, the 3DS mod is not as cheap. It's roughly uh, just around $250. However, the nice thing about it is that this awesome guy named Loopy does accept mods. You can send the mod of 3DS to his place and he will mod it for you, but it will be a little bit more expensive since he's doing all the work for you. Yes. Shout out to Loopy for modding my DS Fat, by the way. Yes, you can also mod the DS Rituals and they're much cheaper in terms of... If you want to just record DS Original games, then the DS Fat mod is much cheaper. Thank you, Paul Varley, for the $10 donation. I haven't been able to keep up with the marathon that much, but I appreciate what you guys are doing, and I'll make sure to check out the archives later on. Ooh. Long jump bounce there. That's the whole point of the setup. Oh boy, <laughs> that does happen sometimes. Thank you, Mark Walkowiak, for the $10 donation. These $10 and the $10 are just donated without comment go to 16 star. Also, make a 70 star challenge. Anything that keeps saving Super Mario 64 on longer. <laughs> uh, nah. Thank you, Oliver Zapke, for the $20 donation. Hello, HDQ. Been watching all week. You guys are doing an awesome job. Put this towards SIG 16 star run. Okay, since I've missed one of the star medals on World 3-4, I have to get the third one on this stage. Am I going to make it? Yes. It's very hard to judge due to the camera angles. I think this is like one of these few points where I turn 3D on is a bit helpful. But I'm not going to do that since I, it drains the battery power a little bit more. A little less than five hundred dollars left to see Glenix sixteen star. Mm. Yes, for anyone who wants to see Glenix sixteen star, get those donations in as soon as you can. Okay, so I kill these two giant tail boobers for another leaf. Boy, by the green angle glitch here. Now I'm gonna be a bit cautious here since I have to get the third one. I can see where the third one is right now. So yeah, this is gonna be cautious cow strap, unfortunately. Oh boy, okay, there is a platform right down the bottom. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, that's close. <laughs> so yeah, this is like really hard to judge sometimes, whether or not you're going to make it, but strange enough, you will make it. Oh, nice. Touch the very bottom, that saves a little bit more time. So this is a castle stage kind of right up. You will see why I have to collect star medals. This one requires 50. That's quite a lot, actually. That's most of these stages. If you ignore optional stages and use loads of two of the warps, you barely just have enough. Oh, didn't get a long jump there. Long jump's a little bit picky. Especially when you're so used to getting it. Ah, okay, this is a good Oh, wow. I got trolled by an extra floor. That's a first. Nice, okay. I tend to die around there sometimes. So I'm a bit happy about that. Long jump there, even if the platforms are very bottom and not rising up with the lava. Okay, so this bit can be hit and miss sometimes. You can actually reach the switch before Bowser makes it to the end. 
And this long jump is stupidly long. Yeah, I've got to be cautious. Yeah. But this is not the real Bowser. We'll find out why. Curse you. Level 6 kind of right top is not too bad. Thank you, Thurston Dollar, for the $13.37 donation. Greetings, another donation from Doke. Keep it up, I really want to see Sig 16 star run. Roundhouse kick. <coughs> Thank you, Jack Crawford, for the $20 donation. Shouts to Mario from Balls Out. Thank you, Shineer, for the $54 donation. Please put towards Super Mario 64 16 star run. Thank you, Tom Christian Brazeth, for the $15 donation. Keep up the great work, guys. Lots of great players here. Thank you, Tobias Lundberg, for the $15 donation. This has been an awesome marathon with awesome games for an awesome cause. Keep up the good work and put these and put this money. So it's Siglemic playing 16 star in Super Mario 64. Thank you, Michael DeLuca, for the $8.95 donation. Great marathon. Put this towards Sig 16 star run. When's Marvel? Thank you, Shane Hill, for the $10 donation. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. Someone got tranquilized on my legs starting to shake. <laughs> okay, just calm down now. Oh, why? This stage is not even that hard. There. Yeah, I skipped the second one because it's an underwater section. And like in most Mario games, it takes forever to go from point A to point B. So yeah, there is actually a star metal route. Unfortunately. Thank you, Lucas Crispin, for the twenty dollars donation. Great work, great week, everybody. Thanks for all the hard work for a worthy cause. Put everything on Sig sixteen. Thank you, Raymond Berkman, for the ten dollars donation. Put this towards sixteen star Super Mario sixty four. Oh yeah, I can recover. See? Yeah. It's a bit picky that timing, but still. You can long jump from here to go over that snake, but I actually took hit once there, so I'm not. I'm just doing a regular jump. Okay, this is not too bad. Oh, that was close. Oh, what? The? Oh, not too bad. Yeah, the long jump in general is terrible. It shouldn't really actually be called long jump because a regular jump can go as near as far as a long jump. However, with the fluttering ability from the Tanuki suit, it makes long jump a little bit more useful. Hence, I tend to nickname the Tanuki suit the Hopper Nozzle from Mario Sunshine. It's that useful. Thank you, Andreas Greenisberg, for the $5 donation. Towards the Glamic playing 16 star. Thank you, Casper Hood, for the $15 donation. 15 for the 16 star run. Great work, guys. Thank you, Michael Tully, for the $10 donation. Been waiting all week for. to earn. Put this towards 16 stars. Thank all you. Right. Thank you, John Obershelp, for the $10 donation. Green League, I heart you. Keep up the good work. Put Frank this you. towards Mute's choice between Franker Z and Franker Z. I heart you too. <laughs> oh, nice, got it. Okay, so I better line up the rope because I did die once here because I wasn't line up the rope. There you go. Boo hoo to you, giant boo. 
So the next day is coming up. It's actually, it's actually one of my favorites. It reminds me of Donkey Kong Country Returns. You'll find out why. But it's not this one. It's not the mystery box. It's the one white art ports. There comes the best stage in the game. Thank you, Fabiano Siddler, for the $42 donation. I'm just so happy to be here. It's the Glamix 16 star reset, go! in the special stages as well. Yeah. That's a uh, different beat to it. Yeah. And I think there's only one platform with Sorg each time, which is even worse. Thank you, Thank you very much, Mitchell Huffa, for the $6.66 donation. Donating to 16 Star Run like everyone else. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Good choice, people. Yes, I agree. Thank you, Tanya White, for the $20 donation. I've had the stream on constantly the past few days. It has been great. Thank you. Please say hello to Kevin. The bolster is not a creature. Put donation to, six, to SIG 16 star run. So yeah, it's possible to do a spline strap up because the level design is a little more complex. It's not just going straight forward, there's hidden traps down to tra base traps. It's not really recommended. Okay. Now I'm going to do a blind strike kind of right off a minute. Hold on. Oh dear. That's a first. I might as well wait here so I know where I am. Okay, Now I only have one Tanuki suit, so this could take a while if I take damage. Okay. Okay, that's over. Because if you lose your Tanuki suit, some stages in World 7 take forever. The Tanuki suit is very vital in World 7. Thank you, Samuel Hobda, for the $100 donation. I like what you guys are doing. My father passed away from cancer when I was 15. Let's put this money towards Sig's 16 star run. He's super kawaii. Thank you, Michael Apple, for the $10 donation. Thanks for this awesome event, guys. Put this towards the Glimmick 16 stars run. Thank you, Martin Dorrington, for the $20 donation. Thanks for the awesome runs, especially F-Zero GX. I completed it on very hard only twice. Watching it get broken live was gobsmacking. 
put this along with my previous donation towards Super Mario 64, 16 Star, or if that's met, towards more Die Hard. Yeah, that stage is very really short. It's actually one of the only stages I actually skip all three. The exceptional, the very last regular world stage. Thank you, Matthias Fisher, for the $20 donation. Great event for a great cause, guys. Please put this towards SIG 16 Stars. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Christian Stang, for the $50 donation. Please put this towards the 16 star. I really hate this stage, so... Yeah, I've got... Okay, might be able to do it. Okay, I'll do it from here. Just mouth from luck's sake, but I'll... I had a feeling I was going to screw it up. Okay, that's what you got. Sorry, Cosmic D12. I know I'm terrible on this stage. <laughs> now this is near the end of the stage. So next age is kind of, I need a little bit of quiet time. I know I'm not saying serious time, but it's just I need to hear the sound effects. So I got a good way to time this jump. Fair enough. Thank you, Hugh McLernan, for the $5 donation. Keep up the good work, guys. This will let you guys know that my previous $100 donation goes to the 16 Star Run. I looked it up when you guys first mentioned it, and it looks like it could be awesome. This can also go to the 16 Star Run. Okay, here it comes. Thank you, Jacob Witty, for the $10 donation. 320k plus is an amazing amount. Keep it up, guys, and keep tearing up Super Mario 3D Land, Green Link. Thank you. Those at the 16 star run, please. Thank you, Brett Vinoker, for the $125 donation. Hey, guys, great marathon. Please count this towards the Mario prizes and the grand prizes, Wii U and Gunblade. Please put this money towards Six 16 star Super Mario 64 run or Six choice if the former is already met. Pick up another fleet here. <coughs> okay, so this bit's kind of serious time now. Okay, it's all nothing now, but this long jump. One. Okay, that kind of works. Yes! Well done. <laughs> and then you pump into the block. <laughs> oh, oh and as an aside, thank you for everyone that has donated so far for challenges. Siglemic is officially going to play 16 stars. Thank you, Dominic. You will not regret it. Siglemic is the man. Okay. I hope this blind strat doesn't screw me over. Not, it's like 80% consistent, but it really depends on the t how long I stop fluttering for. So yeah, if you want to really do a blind strap from start to end, good luck, because it's never going to happen until emulators and map readers are out, and then we have to figure out all kinds of time star methods, like you know, two long jumps to the right, face down, 90 degrees, three more long jumps down. Yeah, can't wait till that actually happens. Nice. Hmm. Oh, 
Alright, here it comes. I think I'm going to. Oh, yes. Oh, oh wow. That's a first. <laughs> Curse you. Thankfully, the next stage does contain a leaf nearby, so. I'm gonna go a bit cautious on this one. And get one on reserve on the next stage. Yeah, the point is too. I can't stand her invincibility frames while she wakes up. Oh nice, that's alright. One more hit on both of these two. Alright. Okay. Last one more world left. Okay. Thank you, Andrew Weinstock, for the $50 donation. This event has brought me so much entertainment and I'm inspired. Thank you very much, Marcus Langle, for the $50 donation. Hey, thanks for the great job you're doing. Is that laptop going to go to screensaver again in a minute? No, we have the pipe uh, now. Oh, right, okay. So that's why. Thank you, Turul Hassan, for the $5 two cent donation. Hi, guys. Great job in all the marathons. Love the link to the past and Mr. Gimmick runs. Shout out to Blue Glass. And thank you, Cameron Howlett, for the $25 donation. Shout out to Greenalink, humble guy doing a super smooth run. Thank you. Oh, yes, that's what I've got to come talk about. Okay. Yeah, you doze off during these cutscenes, like, oh, I'm back in control now. So, yeah, I'm going to get a hidden leaf. Yeah, there's loads of leaves and not enough fire flowers. Well, the fire flowers kind of suck in my opinion, so... You don't really need it anymore. Anyway. Like, once or twice in a run, I think. In a 100% run, yes. Yeah, 100% run, yeah. yeah. Once in this run. I believe. Oh. Uh, hit the check on the flag in case I screw something really bad up. I know I'm going to do something really bad, eventually. So yeah, coming right up is my tube jump method, which is very reliable for marathon and races. You can do this awesome jump with just one, but I don't find it always consistent. So that's jump number one, and jump number two, going back here. Alright. Thank you Ben Scalia for the $30 donation. Awesome job guys, love what you're doing. Recently lost an uncle to cancer, please put this towards Breaker Z. Thank you, Arlen Adland, for the $10.20 donation. Even though I love Siglamic, I hope he gets married to Icarus. Good luck with the run, Sig. Okay. Hopefully I can get good luck on this certain enemy. Oh, here it comes. The long jump bounce. Yeah. Oh, no long jump. Because you are. Okay. It does happen sometimes. Yeah, I found the long jump to be very long in a paper game. I never used it because it was so dumb. It's uh, unreliable. <laughs> yeah, you hear this tune quite a lot. I think with this trick, if I don't get the trick, the hole kind of right there will save me. Okay, not today. Yeah, see? <laughs> Plan B straps, maybe. Oh yeah. Now, the next day's kind of right up has a couple of tricky tricks. The third stone medal, I only found out when Cosmic was doing this race against someone a few months ago. Looks pretty tough, but I found my own method. I hope it all works out well. I hope it all works out fine. 
Come on. <laughs> Touch screen doesn't always respond, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so the first trick kind of like child permission part here. I get myself into precision. Now, the only reason this could screw up is that whilst in the normal jump was not running run. So it comes. Yes, I think got that. So I hold the camera to the left to yeah. delay the moving star metal a bit. Like that. So here comes the most important jump in the speedway of 3D Land. Two of them. No, three of them actually. So here it comes. Yes, one, two, come on, can I get there? Can I get there? Alright, oh, that skips a long way. You can do two long jumps, but there have to be running speed long jumps, which is why I did normal jumps since it doesn't involve holding the R button. You got that, Cosmic? <laughs> Thank you, Michael Jimenez, for the $35 donation. It was the Glenix Mario 64 runs that brought me to AGDQ in the first place, so today is a special treat for me. For me. First person in the room to say, It's -a me, Mario! Can put this money to whatever they like. It's -a me, Mario! So I think I win by default. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Cheater. <laughs> no, what do you want, man? Me on choice. I'm gonna like it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Okay, this bit's not always consistent. Oh, oh wow. wow. Okay, that's that was interesting. Yeah, went too far to the right, so the bounce did not count. <coughs> Poppycock. Sorry, guys. I might as well hit a check off right. One, that's more like it. Two. I'm gonna go cautious here because it's gonna be bim bounce if I die here. A long jump. Okay. So I'm going to explain this to 5,000 people. Most of the viewers who watch my runs on my personal Twitch channel is around 80 to 100. So this is where the most bizarre bit of death abuse comes in to save time. Yes, I'm, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to die 10 times. And this will enable me to get two important items, but one of them is very important for speedrunning. The first item I'll be getting is the Invincible Tanuki which allows me to be fully invincible throughout the stage, but only on that stage. But what is more important is the P-Wing. It allows me to skip a stage. I'll be using that P-Wing later on. So, despite what I'm doing right now, dying 10 times and use a warp on a later stage is actually faster than just going through Deathless. Thank you, Matthew Grogan, for the $30 donation. Hey guys, my new job has prevented me from launching as much as last year, but I lost my grandmother to cancer about 15 years ago, and can't think of a much better charity to do this for. Put this towards 16 star run. I think that's five. Okay, five more. So yeah, that's, that's the power you get for dying five times, but that's not what I want to get yet. So how is things, Tom? Uh, I'm hungry, I need food. <laughs> I don't good, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get any free food today, right? No. 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 Okay, yeah, this is the last step. What? There are still a few sandwiches. Ooh. Okay, so now there's a P wing. That allows me to become fully invincible. This Tanuki Serum wing right now. But using P wing later on in the run. You can do a long jump there, but it's a bit risky, so I'm doing a regular one. Oh, 
Oh boy, that was close. So yeah, this is where Invincible Tunica saves time now. I want to take damage from the spikes. And Vesper coming right up is not having to wipe up these Boomerang Bobbers. Full jump. Oh, this one does not have a raccoon tail. I wonder. Yeah, no problem about that, gonna tell you. He's not happy as well. He's a little bit mad. No surprise. Oh wow, no long jump again. Okay. It doesn't matter if I'm fully invincible here, so. Alright. I'm pretty happy with this run so far. I only died twice. Well, that was a tricky trick, and that one was a rare mistake. Well, you right? technically just died ten times. Yeah. Oh yeah, ten <laughs> times on this as well. I forgot about that, but these ten deaths were intentional for time saving. Yeah, I don't know what is the fastest way to get those deaths. Time to span the 3D switch. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it slides left to the right. So unfortunately, no 3D stream for this one. Uh oh, earthquake! <coughs> but Mario's not going to give up just yet. We have a few more stages to go through. Look at that serious face. And he killed himself. <laughs> Thank you, Dylan Pajal, for the $10 donation. Seeing how amazing Green Link is made me realize how truly bad I was at these games when I was younger. But they are always fun to play nonetheless. Money goes to Green Link's choice. Oh boy, what choices are there left? It went near at the end of the marathon. I think the big one seems to be the Wind Waker file names. Yeah. I thought it was just peaceful. <laughs> just peaceful for Keith's couple. Oh, uh, yeah, this stage is pretty generic to be honest with you. I didn't get that. Okay, I still got it. That's nice. You can get a momentum. Um, jump boost if you jump off from moving platforms, just like, just like that enemy. Oh, that was close. <coughs> Very close. So yeah, this is kind of like I'm free now. There's no tough things kind of like that. So if you paid attention to my star medal total, I sure have just enough to unlock the final stage. Yep. Thank you, Sir Hat, for the ten dollars donation. I want to thank Green Link for this awesome Super Mario three D run. Thank you. Thank you, Sebastian, for the fifteen dollars donation. Hey guys, greetings from Germany. Great marathon, great just idea. Enough. Green Link should decide what this donation goes to. Thanks and cheers. He's all as cute as couple. Alrighty. <laughs> I think he's in the lead by a lot, I guess. Okay, there's another donation choice later on. I'll think of something different. So yeah, this is where my extra power comes in. I'm gonna skip this very boring segment that involves riding on this on these two phone cards. Yes, this actually saves time. I actually have a video on YouTube, two different strats, and this strat apparently saves <coughs> around 40 seconds. It really depends on your optimization. Very good skip there. <laughs> That's how it sucks otherwise. Oh no, look, Princess is tied up. 
and I was all excited. Listen very carefully to Mario's voice. Voice sample of the Super Mario 64. <laughs> <laughs> or Super Smash Brothers, depends. Or you know. I mean, the modern Mario these days doesn't use their classic N64 quotes. You won't hear him say, woof, 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 anymore. So, yeah, this is the final battle. I tell you when to press the timer. See, I've got to wait a bit, of course. Losing this Tanuki at this phase is pretty bad. If you go too far ahead, he will be right there and I'll be taking damage and won't be able to do this wall jump trick, as you can see. You can jump up, jump up on the next block as well, but uh, this is an invisible wall if you can proceed. Yeah, look, it's very high this wall. Quite a well, you, you can get up on it. You can't uh, get over. That's right. So what do you think of the camera work on this final boss battle? I think it's my favourite for some odd reason. But boy, I also need to invest less in switches. Seriously. I was just jumping for joy. I go end this speed run soon. But also is not having it. But it's aimed, he can't shoot for sure. His accuracy is poor. Does he play on console controller? So, not yet. Time's not yet. The time occurs when I touch the last flagpole. And just to remind you, even though the, I'm near the end, there was a donation, donation incentive to rescue Luigi right after the main quest. Thankfully, it's very short. Oh yeah, I about that one. Yeah, not many people were talking about that until I just said it. <laughs> so yeah, it's not over yet. So get your space bar ready, dudes. Time. Wow. That's <laughs> That's 70 seconds short for my PB. And even my PB I had two deaths, so I'm pretty happy about that. Thank you, Jack. Albrex for the $10 donation. Another $10 for Greenlink's awesome run. Loving it. Money goes wherever he wants, so just feasible. Thank you, Fabiano Siddler, for the $44.63 donation. Third donation to make it around 100 bucks. Just want to say that Mario 3D run is so awesome and also serves as a great intro to Super Mario 64. Since 60 stars are reached, put it towards whatever Michelle wants. Thank you. There's about to be 36,000 people watching Rescue Luigi. Okay, yeah. We need some Luigi play doll donation. Hi, it's Lucas. Good luck to Sig on his run. I hope he gets the 143 he deserves. Also, thanks to everyone at AGDQ for the awesome runs. Keep it up. So you'll see something in a minute after the credits, but thankfully these credits are very, very short for a modern Mario game. And yes, I am controlling Mario. I was disappointed that they couldn't hit the to toads when they were flying. It's going to be very dizzy once they land. Yeah, yeah. And then here comes this very important photo, and I got to sort it out, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so what I have to do now is to rescue him. Thankfully this is very short, it's only like four stages. Three of them have to collect all three star medals and one of them 
I just do it. Save him. So now you've got this pipe. Now you can travel to special worlds. So this game has 16 worlds and not 8. But I'm only going to show you special world 1 because that's where Luigi is. So you may recognize this stage from World 2 1. There's a lot of remixes from the original worlds, and they made them a little bit harder. Well, it really depends though, because some of the remixes in Special World 8 are ridiculously hard. I'm surprised I didn't get the extra leaf there. I explained why in it. I hate this one, because you have to be in running speed to get this done star middle. There you go. Ooh, come on. Okay, I'm not, no, I'm not gonna get it. You're getting a fire power? <laughs> no, this is my only power. Okay. So that's one done. There's two more full stages. A mystery box and then the final stage. Once I rescue Luigi, I'm done. Thank you, Aaron Barton, for the thirty dollar donation. I've got a neighbor who's currently struggling with cancer, so this marathon causes so this marathon's cause hits close to home. Put this toward whatever Green Link wants. Shout out to Con Freeman and Yellow Strats. Let's see. Might as well give a bit of competition for Wind Waker. Mirrored choice. Yes. I know it sounds controver controversial, thank you, Steve Bands, but let's give a little bit more competition. You understand. You may hate me later on, but. <laughs> I, I did unfortunately lose a Jack Russell last year, one month before I got this modded 3DS. I know, it's a very sad time. Still miss him. It wasn't because of cancer, he was getting old. 16 years, 16 years and 17 days old my dog was, I won't forget And that's when I saw Frank Z two days later on the ESA speedrunning marathon. Boy. <laughs> Thank you, Hank Westdorp, for the $11 donation. Good luck, have fun to Railcoon for playing StarCraft 2. Great work, folks. What? Yeah, I, s I don't go to 1-3 because that takes forever to get all three star <coughs> medals. This one's way much, way, way faster. Unfortunately, I have no idea to speed through this bit. Not sure any long jump bounce on Goombas could solve it, but it wasn't that straightforward. And to be honest, I haven't really played much of these special world stages. Because Survey G mentioned on chat while I was speedrunning this game for all. Oh, Let's do a donation incentive to rescue Luigi. Sounds like a good idea. Thankfully, there's not many stages to go through, and haven't played much. Haven't played these stages as much as the regular ones. Oh, oh. poppycock! That's the first. And the sixth first in this run. <laughs> so yeah, this is where regular Mario does an awful job. But thankfully, I know there is a silver leaf on the next stage. So no need to worry. And this is near the end. Oh you plumber. <laughs> <laughs> yes, even I make mistakes, don't worry, I will not rage like Worcester. <laughs> well to be honest though, Worcester had a much tougher situation to go through. With that luck, man. He's brave for doing that. Mm. Two, three. Okay, so the next stage is the last one. And there is a leaf I can pick up nearby. So yeah, this one requires 110, which is why I have to go through three stages and that mystery box. Was that the bar? Or was this the bar? This is the box. The box. <laughs> oh no. There he is. 
You got 30 seconds. But yeah, there's loads of little twists and challenges on each one now. For example, you only have 30 seconds, but there's loads of time pickups you can pick up to gain time. Some stages require different methods like killing enemies to gain time. Oh, that's close. Yeah, I thought I was going to take damage there. But because it's the last stage of the run now, I don't have to pick up Star Medals. <coughs> Star time! <coughs> Come on, step it up. Oops. Oh, uh, I hate that ground pound. Yes, that's the true Tanuki suit you may recognize from Super Mario Bros. 3. You press a R button in midair to change the statue, but the recovery takes forever. That's why I prefer the regular Tanuki suit over the proper one. There. And that's Dry Bowser. He appears in the special castle stages. As well as Mario Kart Wii. Oh yeah, it's Mario Kart Wii too. Hey. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. We are Speed Demos Archive. We run games very, very quickly. We also have many people here from speedrunslive.com, the premier source for races of all your favorite games. And we are currently doing a donation marathon for the Prevent Cancer Foundation, whose mission statement is research, education, community outreach, and advocacy for the prevention of cancer. Up next, we have a run by the most popular grill on Twitch, <laughs> Super Mario 64 120 Star. I'm just to say I'm donating this because 12 years ago, well, just over 12 years ago, I lost my grand granddad due to prostate cancer. And my brother's current girlfriend lost her dad last year to this darn cancer. So uh, what I'm going to do now, for my family and for you, Yasmin, I'm donating $20. Thanks a lot, Green Link. That was a good run. Thank you very much, everyone. Feel free to follow my channel. You won't regret it mm. if you love the DS and 3DS games. Oh, yeah.